Now, given the spike in tensions since Seoul identified North Korea as the culprit behind the explosions at the border, the South Korean military has raised its military alert level to the highest footing. Kim Hyun Bin reports. The South Korean military has issued an alert on the country's western border, following the Defense Ministry's announcement Monday that North Korea was behind the recent landmine explosions that severely wounded two South Korean troops. Defense Minister Han Min Gu says the South Korean military will intensify its operations along the demilitarized zone. Han also confirmed that South Korea Monday afternoon resumed its previous policy of blasting anti Pyongyang propaganda across the inner Korean border and is reviewing other follow up steps it can take. This marks the first time South Korea has cranked up the loudspeakers since the two Koreas agreed that Seoul was stopped in June 2004. North Korea has yet to issue a response since the broadcast resumed, but in 2010, when the South said it would restart the speakers in the wake of North Korea's sinking of a South Korean warship, Pyongyang threatened to fire on the speakers. South Korea's defense ministry said on Tuesday that it will counter and destroy the source of the attack if the North decides to fire on the loudspeakers. Responding to the latest spike in inner Korean tensions, UN Secretary General Pang Gi moon urged North Korea to respect the armistice agreement and engage in dialogue to ease tensions on the peninsula. In regards to the probe into the landmine blast, military officials say North Korea may have planted the mines ahead of a possible incursion into the south. The North might have also been trying to derail an annual round of military drills between Seoul and Washington, slated for next week. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.